Hi everyone, Jay here. And today for Chip Trick Day, Chip Trick Video Day, I'm going to show you how to shoot out chips with the snapping method just like that. All right now, I did post a TikTok video earlier, and in this trick, I actually had a small stack of fives like this, and I put a dollar chip near the bottom, and I used the method to actually shoot out the one with the stack just like that. All right, so let me show you how to do it. Okay, so this is actually not too difficult of a trick to learn. What you really need to learn how to do is to pick up chips and snap them underneath your stack just like that. So first off, grab your stack and just leave one chip there. Uh, this is how you're going to start. Hold your five and hold it between your index and your ring finger just like that. Now what you want to do is you want to pinch with your thumb and your index finger like this and pick up the chip and snap it and just put it underneath. Now, when you let go with your index, you're gonna use your thumb to bring it up just like that. Okay, try again here. Now, when you're picking up chips, again, use your thumb and your index and with your other hands, just try to cradle the rest of the stack just like that. Now, when I'm picking this up, I'm taking it like I'm picking up a dime, bringing it up underneath like that, okay? Just keep practicing this and see if you can get that nice snapping sound. Once you get that, now what you want to do is leave one chip down there and then grab another chip just like this. Now you're going to pick it up and while you're picking it up, what you're going to do is you're going to use this part of the chip to shoot that one out. Okay. So now when I'm picking it up, I'm going to snap it underneath and it's going to push that chip out just like that. Okay, so just like snap, and there it goes. All right, so again, start with one chip. Get used to holding the stack. Okay, um, if you have, if five is too many, then just use a couple here, and just get into the habit of picking this up like this. Once you have that feeling, just place the chip down, and then snap it up, and when you're picking it up, you can see like the edges need to touch like that. When you bring it up, you can automatically shoot that chip out. Now for that trick that I showed you before with that one chip on the stack, make sure that it is the second chip from the bottom. Now that's the easiest way to set up this trick. When you're going to shoot the, your stack, try to keep that chip low and you can start to see it actually hit this one automatically. Okay, it's a little sloppy. Let's try that again. You see this one blue chip second from the bottom. When you're snapping this chip up, you don't want to push down. You know, like you can see me here pushing down and elevating it. That's not going to work. You want to keep it flat on the ground until you snap it up and it's going to hit that blue chip, right? A little more force here. I'll show you. And you see it come out. All right. Let me just... Okay. Let me show you another angle here. There's my five chips with the one, $1 chip and then this stack here. Now what you want to do again, is make sure that when you leave this chip here, it is flat. You don't want to pick it up at any point. Otherwise, it's going to elevate. It's going to go over. It's going to hit the top. You just want it flat when you shoot it out. And you can see that it's just going to take that blue chip out. Now, the really cool thing about this trick is if you are recording it and you're sending it out to your friends, make sure you use some sort of video editing program to actually record this point of impact here and slow it down. So when it hits it and this blue chip comes out, uh, it'll look so much better. So it'll look something like this. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I haven't done a chip trick video for a while here, so I'll make sure I add a couple more in the rotation. But um, yeah, nice short video for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, make sure you just send me a message. And uh, I hope you guys have a good weekend. All right, so take care.